Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Today I want to talk about a Japanese sunscreen that you guys have asked me to uh, review, and that's Biore's UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Thank you for leaving the comments down below and the other sunscreen reviews to ask me to review this. So I bought this off of Amazon with my own money, and I'll leave the price up above. Before jumping into it, I just wanted to give an update on my other review, the Beat Shield. So I've mentioned this before, I really like this K-Beauty sunscreen uh, by Crave and unfortunately with their independent testing they found that the SPF did not live up to its advertised um, SPF. Not in the US, in the US they didn't market it as an SPF but an antioxidant day fluid. You know in other countries where the UV filters were approved it was an SPF and it didn't live up to the standards that they had advertised. So, and they came up with a statement saying for the moment, uh, they have no plans of releasing it for sale, so indefinitely it's off the market. And so it's really sad to hear about that. I hope they come up with a new sunscreen that is similar to this that does live up to its SPF labeling. So we'll have to put this to rest. Goodbye, the Beat Shield or Beat the Sun. Goodbye, Purito, which also had the same SPF controversy. And you know, with the new testing, they showed that it wasn't SPF 50 plus. And then also I did a TikTok Instagram reel on Keep Cool Soothe Bamboo Sun Essence, another one laid to rest. So rest in peace guys, you guys were good. Hopefully we don't get disappointed with any more products that show that they're not uh, living up to their SPF standards. Here is a Japanese brand. I've never reviewed a Japanese brand here on the channel. So really excited to talk to you about this one. This is different from the watery gel. Uh, this is the watery essence. And so this is meant for the face and the body. The 2019 edition, Cal let release a statement saying that they've changed the formulation to include these spheres uh, or capsules to lay into the creases at a microscopic level. The previous formulation, or they also mentioned just normal sunscreens without this technology actually misses a lot of times the creases, those little valleys. And so these settle there and will give you even protection. So, you know, when you wear a sunscreen, of course you want to use enough half a teaspoon amount to cover your face, your ears, your neck, but they're saying the formulation isn't um, evenly spread. That also leads you to have burns as well. Also reminding you to reapply sunscreen every one to two hours. If you get sweaty, you want to reapply every hour. If you're going to go jump in the water, reapply every hour. Otherwise, if you're going for a walk, reapply every two hours. Or if you're at a ball game every two hours or playing golf and not getting too sweaty. So this one here has four UV filters. UV filters wise, you know, only one of them I'm familiar with as an American. We have octinoxate. This has octinoxate, but three other UV filters. So octinoxate, we know classically is a UVB filter. It also has another UV, UVB filter, which is Uvenil T. And then the two UVA filters, which are DHHB or Uvenil A or Uvenil A plus. Also Tinazorb S, which is another UVA filter. So those four together will give you, um, we're assuming an SPF 50 plus and a PA of four plus. And as we talked about in other videos and um, other K-Beauty products, the SPF 50 is correlating to the UVB coverage, protects you from burns, and the PA four plus protects you from darkening the hyperpigmentation from UVA. And that's the light that is employed by tanning booths. They don't use UVB, they use UVA to help tan you. They don't wanna give UVB because that's the one that burns you. UVB is burn. You also um, need to know that vitamin D conversion in the skin, you need UVB for that conversion. So for if you ever hear about tanning salons re um, reporting that they will increase your vitamin D levels, that is false information. They're only using UVA. So that's not gonna help your vitamin D levels at all. So I always say, healthy diet and supplementation for your vitamin D um, levels to stay adequate. Always consult with your physician, your primary care doctor on how to adequately supplement vitamin D for yourself. First, open this up. I've heard a lot of great things about this, by the way. I smelt it and I was like, whoa, this is quite powerful. The scent is very strong. It smells like alcohol. It smells like fragrance. This is fragrance. Again, I don't want to demonize fragrance, but you know, for those of you who have a known sensitivity to fragrance, just be aware of this. This has a citrus mix. So comes out very lightweight, like a lotion. And it goes on very sheer and light. But the smell was quite overwhelming. And the, the one of the first two ingredients is alcohol and people might get freaked out by that. Again, I don't like to demonize alcohol either. I'm glad that this also is paired with 
moisturizing ingredients like hyaluronic acid and glycerin. It also has royal jelly extract. So I think for Asian skin, you know, Japanese, me being a Japanese American, we do have, we tend to have oilier skin. And when they say Asian, don't raisin, a lot of times we have oilier skin, so we don't have as much of those fine lines and wrinkles, but we deal with oil. And so maybe the alcohol content in here really isn't that bothersome for people with oilier skin, but it also is offset by the moisturizing and hydrating ingredients, like the hydrating ingredient being hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid and glycerin are the top two most important uh, humectants you might see in your skincare, you know, whether it's a moisturizer, cleanser, or a, a sunscreen, those are really nice for hydrating the skin. They attract water, they're water magnets, and they let it, and they retain it and let it sit there in the skin. Let's try this out on my face. So we're gonna do one finger length and show you how it does on, my, on one side of my face. So let's just kind of spread it evenly here. If you're not bothered by the smell or the fragrance, this is for you. I don't know how the previous formulations were before the 2019 uh, micro defense came out, but I wonder how it smelled because a lot of people raved about this and I'm kind of thrown off. I actually had to message some dermatologists and other friends who are very much big fans of this sunscreen. I was like, is this smell for real or did I get a counterfeit or a ripoff? And I was reading online, and it sounds like this is the real deal. Other people have smelled this alcohol um, and it's kind of overwhelming. But as you can see, it just rubs in really very well. I mean, it just disappears, it melts in, very sheer, lightweight, um, no white cast at all. But again, it's not a mineral sunscreen. Um, it has octanoxate in it, which a lot of time our American sunscreens have octanoxate mixed in to help it um, help um, make the zinc oxide more lightweight. So this has octanoxate in it and the other three other chemical ingredients that we don't have access to in the US, but man, does it, it's so lightweight and, and, and nice. I mean, it just melts into your skin. No pilling, no issues if you wanted to put makeup over this. It's affordable compared to a lot of the sunscreens we talk about here on the channel. Oh, and it also has dimethicone in it too, which I like. It's, it gives it a nice silky texture. And then as now that it's really set on my skin, it makes my skin feel much more silky smooth when I compare it to my left side. So I only apply it to half my face and yeah, you can really tell the difference. This makes you feel nice and silky smooth. Um, kind of gives you that balance. You got some humectants in that. So great as an overall sunscreen, but I also read about that they say that they're waterproof. So waterproof is a term we can't use in the United States. Uh, we can, we're only allowed to use water resistant as the on the label if it's gone through those expensive rigorous testing to show that it is water resistant 40 or 80 minutes. This one says, um, you know, online they say 80 minutes of waterproof. So, um, you know, this is something you could use before a run. Um, I also wonder if you sweat, how will this be going down into your eyes because of the alcohol content? Um, but yeah, let me see how it is on my eyelid. Don't get in my eye course, but the eyelid is very important. I find a lot of skin cancer on the eyelids. Yeah, really no burn whatsoever. Hmm. So yeah, you know, I've, I've used this for the last few weeks, very impressed um, by how it melts in. Um, I'm still not used to the smell though. So that's my biggest critique of this. I love the look of it. It looks really nice. My daughter looks at it and she says, oh, it's a frozen, it's the frozen um, sunscreen. But um, you know, it's just really elegant look to it. Nice and portable. It says aqua rich here, 2019 version. Whereas the other ones, you know, the previous years, it says 2016, 2014, it's won the beauty awards. Won the best cosmetic award in, in 2014. Uh, so when you see that on the on the package, it doesn't mean this was made in 2014. It just says it won an award in 2014. The package does have a lot of um, kanji and Japanese characters on it, so it is hard to read. Um, so if you have a hard time finding the ingredients, you know, Amazon where I bought it has the ingredient list, and I checked it. It does list the four UV filters there: the dimethicone, the royal jelly extract, the glycerin, hyaluronic acid. But if you can see here on the back of the bottle. The tube doesn't, it's all in Japanese. So 
you can't really read it for the average American consumer, including myself. Even though I'm Japanese, I'm ashamed to say I don't speak it or read too much or too well. For any citrus product, you know, for, I always say for organic ingredients, even if it's citrus, always a possibility of you being allergic to a citrus product. So citrus uh, essential oils in your products, you know, a lot of these clean products they want to advertise you can get an, aller an allergic reaction to those like a poison ivy reaction to any of those essential oils that are botanical or citrus so always keep that in mind that just because i can tolerate this on my eyelids does not mean it will work for you so always you know start slow maybe spot treat a small area of your neck and then you know dive more into your entire face i see a lot of allergic contact dermatitis from you know a face sheet mask or just using these organic ingredients from whole foods or, or what have you. I forgot to mention this also has vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, helps protect from free radical damage from the sun. So always great to have antioxidants in my sunscreens. I like antioxidants um, in my, um, like in La Roche-Posay, I talk about how the, they have an antioxidant blend in that. Very helpful to have because we're gonna be wearing our sunscreen during the day and we're gonna be exposed to sun during the day. So good to have your antioxidants. If you wanna have a vitamin C serum, in addition to that, definitely apply that. Cleanse, put your serum on, you can moisturize, and then follow up with your sunscreen. That's what you'll do um, in your morning routine. And then if you're gonna be outdoors, every one to two hours, reapply a sunscreen. After letting it sit for a bit, yep, it feels like my skin continues to feel even more silky soft and more you know more of a dewy soft supple texture to it so yeah i'm actually impressed by this the smell isn't sticking around either so that's really good i feel like it's evaporated into the air and I, it's not bothering me as much um, i think it would offend my patients if i went to a clinic smelling like a citrus mix with alcohol like a nice hand sanitizer um, that sticks around it doesn't evaporate like it has these capsules that are amphiphilic so by being amphiphilic it has affinity to water and oil and by doing that it's able to withstand sweat and stay on your skin even if you're going to go out for a workout and so when they say waterproof you can actually go out and for and work out and still have this on your skin for you know at least an hour it's pretty cool that the capsules are like that they can just settle in those creases and stay there despite the sweat so i have to say that i'm you know this this sunscreen has been really hyped up by my colleagues and for for my friends out here on social media but i have to say you know i'd say it's solid but i'm not going to give it like a crazy high score i'm probably going to say dr ci gives us a four out of five shakas or an eight out of ten for now um it's just pretty much the smell that the scent has been pretty powerful if they can tone that down a bit i probably can use this more regularly I really haven't gotten used to this even though i've used this for you know over four weeks i've been i bought this as you may have seen from my instagram stories i bought this a while ago and i've been using it um off and on uh, throughout this cold weather now we're in the hot um, hot weather I'm actually putting it on it's still performing well it's just every time I open up that bottle and apply it to my face I'm actually like thrown back a little I have no sensitivity to fragrance so I've been fine with it but it's just that um, it, it's a little harsh at my reservations to promote this or recommend this to the masses if you do um, get turned off by fragrance so I think that's its major um, downside to this sunscreen here okay but otherwise, yeah, it has great UV filters, four of them, two UVA, two UVB filters. Um, it has the four, the PA4+, plus, SPF50+, plus. we wanna go for SPF30 and above, and it's affordable, and you can get it online. Um, so uh, this is my first time trying out a Japanese uh, sunscreen. If you have any other recommendations, please send them over to me, and I'll be happy to look into it. And yeah, so guys, please be safe. Thanks a lot for watching the channel. We're a year in, so really having fun. Uh, please drop any comments if you like this sunscreen or if you don't like this sunscreen. Please share it with your friends. And also, thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Take care. Peace.